Filming roller coasters is a popular pastime for many in the coaster community, but filming roller coasters can come with many hurdles to overcome. Some roller coasters can get as fast as 150 miles per hour. How do you keep that in frame the whole time? This is sort of a follow-up to my previous video about hidden filming locations, but you don't need to watch that one to understand this one. I'm Atomic, and in no particular order, these are the top 5 tips for filming roller coasters. Ryan Little. <laughs> Number 5. Don't be afraid to use stagnant shots. Most shots you take will probably be tracking shots, where your camera follows the train. These shots look really good if done well, but can also become very sloppy very quick. A good way to circumvent this is to use stagnant shots. These are videos where the camera stays in the same position and the train rolls into or out of the frame. These are good for some coasters like Top Thrill Dragster, where you can have multiple shots, some stagnant and some chasing, and compile them into a montage. Number 4. Look at your camera and not at the coaster. The biggest issue I see with roller coaster videos, myself included, is that people often either move too fast or don't move fast enough. This makes it so you either have to wait or speed up to keep the train in frame. The easiest way to overcome this is to look at your camera's screen and always keep it in frame. This is one of those skills where you just need to practice a lot and eventually you'll understand. Number 3. Keep your feet planted. Unless you have a really good stabilizer, don't be running around chasing the coaster. Instead, let the coaster come to you, then let it roll away into the background. If you're chasing around the coaster, you're going to end up with a shaky mess where you can't even see what's going on. Number 2. Plan out your shot. One of the best things you can do is plan where you're going to film. One good tip is to go on Google Maps and look for some great filming spots. That helped me when I went back to Cedar Point in October. While you're on the break run of a ride, look around. They usually give good views and can reveal some more obscure filming spots. Don't be afraid to walk down a queue line, as that's where some of the best shots can come out. Number 1. Pick your video style. There are two main styles when filming roller coasters, up close and from a distance. I personally have built my up-close skill over my three years of filming, but I still have some trouble with far away filming. It's best to try to get really good at one type of filming, but gradually transition into doing both. So those are five important tips to remember when filming roller coasters. If you know of any others, or would like to correct me on something, please leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe as it helps promote my channel in the algorithm. I'm Atomic and I will see you all later.